베네치아의 새벽 악몽이라도 꾼 걸까요? 여러 사건을 해결한 뒤 은퇴 생활을 하러 베네치아로 온 명탐정 에르큘 포아로의 삶은 유유자죠 아침부터 사건을 해결해 달라는 사람들이 진을 치고 있죠. What did they tell you? Touch him again, and I keep your hands. Excuse me, sir. 이쪽은 전직 경찰 비탈레. 지금은 포아로의 경호원입니다. 보트까지 타고 황급히 향한 곳은 계란. 그렇지, 계란 중요하지. 둘다 샀어요. 이제 보러. There is a lady here. She says she's in Venice on urgent business. She says she's a friend of yours. I don't have any friends. She said you would say that. So I should give you this. 이쪽은 포아로의 친구이자 범죄 소설가인 아리아드네. 그녀는 포아로가 사는 모양새가 영 답답한가 봐요. Hercule Poirot really has gone silent. Walled himself up into retirement. You are coming with me. Time to put some life back into your life. You are not the first who has come to seduce me with some irresistible case. Not a case. It's much spiffier than that. Oh, 그럼 가야죠. The unholy Miss Reynolds. She's a spiritualist, a medium, according to the papers. I've seen a million of these so-called psychics, each one a flim-flam fake. Then there's that one. I need Detective Poirot to pop this balloon, or God help me, I will end up a believer. Come with me to the orphan's Halloween party. Then afterwards, we are invited to a seance. 날이 어두워지고 사람들이 고아원에 모여듭니다. Palazzo lacrime di giovani. In Venice, we say. Every house is haunted or cursed. 어딘가 모르게 낡고 음산한 실내. Are you ready, children? 아이들은 무서운 이야기를 들으며 즐거운 파티에 한창인데요. A diva's life of glamour. 거기엔 사연이 있었습니다. Everyone who ever lived here falls victim to some tragedy. That's the legend, anyway. The children's vendetta. Someone sees a child's shadow on the wall, and then darkness comes, like her daughter a year ago. Luena는 죽은 딸 알리시아를 잊지 못해 여기에 머물며 비로소 오늘 강영애를 열기로 했던 것이죠. My daughter, to hear her voice again, I would give that Miss Reynolds all I have. 그리고 마침내 심령술사 레이놀즈가 들어옵니다. Everything is prepared for you in the salon, as your assistant specified. Your daughter's room is on the third floor. 시작부터 신박하죠. How did you? May we do it there? Of course. 포아로가 말을 걸어봅니다. Who is eager to divine your means of divination? I must tell you, madam, I have been all my life uncharmed by your kind. My kind. Opportunists who prey on the vulnerable, eh? You don't believe in the soul's endurance after death. I have lost my faith. Who's that? Jingling. Oh, 오늘 어쩌면 믿게 될지도 모르겠군요. You were saying. 여기 알리시아의 방. 알리시아의 친구 앵무새 해리가 있고 떠난 날 그대로 방은 보존되어 있었습니다. Everything is just as she left it. 그나저나 알리시아는 왜? 이 방에서 죽음을 맞았을까요? She grew so beautiful. Then she met her chef, Maxime. Then she and her fiancé quarreled. She moved back here to the palazzo. That's when she started to see the children, seeing things, shadows. The children are calling her, she said. They want you here with them. It drove her mad. 레이놀즈는 슬슬 방을 살피더니 인형을 듭니다. 바바. 바바 더 레빗. 빡. 근데 이 중요한 날 불청객이 한명 찾아오는데요. 
Maxime, be at Palazzo 10 p.m. Important news about Alicia Drake. I was invited. Not by me. 초대를 받고 왔다지만 Maxime을 초대한 이는 없었고 부잣집 딸인 새 약혼녀를 데려온 Maxime이 로에나는 못마땅하죠. I lost two, Rowena. 어쨌거나 이제 테이블은 차려졌고 그들만의 강령회가 시작됩니다. Alicia Drake, find your voice. Is someone there? 진짜 되는 걸까요? Why? Yes. Your spirit is close. Your voice is loud. Hey, Alicia. Alicia, I feel you are in pain. 이번엔 A. Please tell me. 동요하는 사람들. Did someone hurt you? Yes. No. 그때 갑자기 코아로가 wow, 불을 켭니다. No. First, let us meet a secret confederate in that chimney. Oh, cool. Ah, that magnetic switch. And voila, the talking typewriter. Okay. 벌써 뽀록을 내버리는 포아르 형. No one had been in this room except you, yet my new friend left his footstep in the fireplace. The bright scratch at the keyhole indicates a lock recently picked. But this oracle is a fake. I don't want to die. What is happening? Alicia, on the balcony. Not alone. She didn't jump. Murderer! You killed me. Who hurt you? You killed me. You killed me. Show me. Murder. 그 자리에 있던 모든 사람들 중. 여전히 의심을 품은 건 포아르 뿐. Did you see who killed Alicia Drake? It was not revealed. Maybe tomorrow. A lucrative convenience. Why is this? Terrors for children, Miss Reynolds. We shall not meet again. 영 추리가 안 풀리는 포아르는 입으로 사과를 건져 보는데요. 그 순간 죽어. 어? 죽었어? 오, 병원의 도움으로 살았습니다. Can you hear me? Who did this? Where is Miss Reynolds? 비명? 이럴 수가. 레이놀즈가 죽었습니다. 폭풍이 거세지며 모든 사람들이 고립되고 강령에는 순식간에 포화로가 딱 추리하기 좋은 살인 사건이 되어버렸죠. 이 안에 범인이 있다. A medium boasts of having a vision of murder. Now she is dead. One of you felt her eyes upon you, killed her. Try to kill me. No one shall leave this place until I know who. They already killed tonight. You will all have your chance to speak and call back the police. Tell them Hercule Poirot is on the case. 왜 이것은 호러인가 추리극인가 아니면 둘 다인가? 과연 포아로는 심령 현상과 살인의 비밀을 풀수 있을까요? 이 다음 내용이 궁금하시다면 지금 바로 SKPTV에서 영화 베니스 유령 살인 사건을 추리물은 마지막에 사건 해결 파트가 가장 재밌는 거. 그럼 지금까지 김효케의 다소 감정적인 리뷰였습니다.